Wow, today, lemon bars, yay! Okay, let's get started. These are going to be with the whole lemon. I know, I already sliced it up and took the seeds out. So let's see, you got your timer. We have a recipe. I have the Traeger pellet stove all pumped up and let's get started. We are doing the lemon bars and we're gonna make a crust for right down here. So right now I have two sticks of butter. Let's add them two sticks of butter and don't forget to get your buttons ready because we're using big, huge Bessie right now. Oh, so we have that. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. Yeah, and we're going to, yeah. And we are going to go ahead and pull this up and you're gonna get ready because we are going to zip this up. On a one and a two and a three, let's go punch! Whoa! And we're gonna get that going probably for about three to five minutes. Catch it when I get back when it's ready. In fact, that was about five minutes. It's nice, light, and fluffy. We are gonna add, ooh, two cups of flour. Just slowly, just slowly, and I have a little bit of salt. Turn big monster Bessie on. You wanna help me again? On low, so it doesn't fly everywhere. Okay, ready? A one and a two and a three, let's hit it. Oh, there we go. Oh, just easy and slow. Just, oh, it's going to be so good. It's that nice, buttery, short, ready crust that goes down there with the lemon bars on top and with real lemon, the whole entire thing with my flavonoids and everything in it. This is how the Italians do it. I know it. I know it. And we are going to dump it. Dump. Don't you just love to dump? I like to dump personally. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Okie dokie. Wow. <laughs> and then after, when we get this all done, um, smushing it in, uh, we need to refrigerate the dough for 30 minutes. We can stick it in the oven for like 15, let's read the recipe, 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're gonna take it out, but leave your oven on because then we're gonna put this in the food processor, the lemon stuff, and we are going to um, <laughs> then have some lemon bars and we wanna have some powdered sugar afterwards so that we can sprinkle it and make it look fancy, okay? <laughs> so this is about approximately what it should look like. Yours may look more pretty and yours may not look as good. Who cares? We're just gonna eat it when it's done. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, that goes in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So we got that out of the oven. It's not quite done, but that's why we're doing this. Okay, so we put the sugar and the sliced lemon. I got butter, chunks of butter. We're gonna put the butter in there. Finally figured out how to do this. Okay, ready? One, two, three, hit it! gonna be tart but sweet and so if that's what you like you will love it now after that is all pureed together and it's good we are going to add ha ha four eggs slide them right in there they're a little slippery and we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch Mmm, uh, you know, personally, I just can't wait to try these puppies. I want to see what the big deal's about, huh? And if there is a big deal, <laughs> okay, get ready with that button. Okay, and one, two, three, hit it! Oh, I think we're supposed to pulse it until it's... I can't say, I can't say, Mom, I can't say! Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we have to, I think we believe, I believe we should, oh yeah, it's gonna have to be scraped down with a scraper, you know, a rubber spatula. Get that, scrape down those sides. Mmm, smells lemony, smells 
real lemony. Let's put it on. You get ready for those buttons. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay, one, two, three. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I think that's it. Ah, okay. So let's get it out. Ah. Mmm, look. So we're going to take this out. Mm hmm. Take that out, but I don't care. I'm going to put it over here because it's all going in this pan right here anyway. Yep. And you know, mm hmm. <sighs> look at that. Now, we're going to put this in here. We're going to bake for 35 to 40 minutes. But everybody's oven is different. So you need to check. And I always start checking, you know, five, 10 minutes early. Usually about 10. Depending. If you know your oven, hey. I just don't want them to burn because you know what? In my lifetime, I have made so many burnt offerings. It's pathetic. Even though I love to bake and cook. All right, so let's see. We have it. Now, we are gonna go put this in the Traeger and make sure you got enough pellets and it's all in there because oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, mm. let's go put this in the oven and we'll talk with you later. Well, isn't this a pretty little thing? So, pretty little thing. Hmm. We're going to, oh, yeah. Sprinkle with some powdered sugar. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And you know what? You can freeze these. I wouldn't necessarily sprinkle with powdered sugar, but if you if you want to cut these into squares, and then you can whoo, wrap them in a saran wrap and a foil, and you can put them in a Ziploc or something, or put them in the freezer, two or three months. Somebody even said six months, so I'm not sure. But they're even good frozen then you can always uh, sprinkle the powdered sugar on after you take them out and they're thawed out. So I hope that you will try this and I hope you enjoy.